If you find this video helpful, then feel free to donate whatever amount you can. Link is in the description below. A RLC series circuit consists of R is equal to 10 ohm, L is equal to 0.1 Henry, C is equal to 50 microfarad. Find number one impedance, current, active power when it is connected to a AC source of 230 volt 50 hertz. Solution First of all, we will write what is given. In this case, resistance value is given R is equal to 10 ohm. Inductance value is given L is equal to 0 0.1 Henry. Capacitance value is given C is equal to 50 microfarad. And also, voltage value is given V is equal to 230 volt. Frequency value is also given F is equal to 50 hertz. We have to find impedance that is Z is equal to question mark current that is I is equal to question mark active power that is P is equal to question mark. So first of all we will find impedance Z. The formula for finding impedance Z is magnitude of Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square. So first of all we have to find XL and XC. XL is inductive reactance and it is equal to 2 pi 2 pi F L. So this will be 2 pi multiplied by F is frequency and it is 50 hertz and L is inductance and its value is here it is 0 0.1 Henry 0 0.1 Henry now if we calculate this so this will be 2 pi multiplied by 50 multiplied by 0 0.1 so it is 31.41 ohm. This is the value of XL. 31.41 ohm. Next is XC. XC is equal to 1 upon 2 pi FC. So it is 1 upon 2 pi. F is frequency and it is 50 hertz. C is capacitance and its value is 50 microfarad. So it is 50 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6. So Xc is equal to 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by 50 multiplied by 50 into 10 to the power minus 6. So it is 63.66, 63.66 ohm. This is the value of capacitive reactance and this is the value of inductive reactance. So from this we can find the value of impedance Z. We can use this formula also. Impedance Z is equal to under root of R square plus bracket xl minus xc whole square at an angle of 10 inverse of xl minus xc divided by r now we will substitute all the values so this will be under root of r square is resistance square that is 10 10 square plus xl xl value is 31.41 31.41 minus xc value is 
63.66 square at an angle of 10 inverse of xl minus xc. So xl minus xc will be here we will di directly calculate it 31.41 minus 63.66 so it is minus 32 point minus 32.25 divided by resistance value is 10 now if we solve this so this will be under root of 10 square then plus in bracket 31.41 minus 63.66 bracket complete square and it is equal to 33.76 33.76 at an angle of 10 inverse of minus 32.25 divided by 10. So it is minus 72 point minus 72.77 degree minus 72.77 degree. Now since it is impedance so its unit will be ohm. Then next after finding the impedance and phase angle phi. This is the phase angle phi it is equal to minus 72.77 degree. We can find the value of cos phi also. Cos phi is the power factor and it will be equal to cos phi value is minus 72.77. So cos of minus 72.77 it is equal to 0 0.0 0.296 next what we have to find we have to find impedance and then current so current value will be current i is equal to v upon magnitude of z voltage value is 230 volt so 230 divided by magnitude of z will be this value 33.76 33.76 so this will be 230 divided by 33.76 it is 6.812 6.812 ampere so i is equal to 6.812 812 ampere then next we have to find active power so active power is equal to p is equal to v i cos phi the value of voltage is 230 volt and current value we have just calculated it is 6.812 multiplied by cos phi cos phi value is here we can see cos phi is equal to 0 0.296 0 0.296 so this will be 230 multiplied by 6.812 multiplied by 0 0.296 it is 463.8 463.76 since it is power so its unit will be watt if you find this video helpful then feel free to donate whatever amount you can link is in the description below thank you